Konnichiwa, and this is, you guessed it, Daddy T. Wow, you're good, with another video for you. Man, you should take my job, you know what I'm going to say and everything. You know, I put up several food videos for Yokosuka. Check them out on my page whenever you have time. And I plan on putting up a lot, and I mean a lot more, and not just in Yokosuka all over Japan but for right now Daddy T has to be Daddy T and handle things locally here before I can get out there with the family. Now I put up food videos but I never put up a supermarket video. I think it's long overdue. Now why would I go and do a thing like that you ask? Well it's simple. I'm sure most of you have been to a Japanese supermarket before but a lot of you have walked right past items you probably have been looking for this whole time or have seen things and said what the heck is that? Or don't know how to pronounce some of the grocery items in Japanese. Well, that's what this video is for. And to that end, I have visited Sanwa Supermarket, located in Yokosuka, Japan, Kanagawa Ken, at the address below, on the first floor. Fun fact for you, this mall is called Nojima Mall, and Nojima has his own electronics shop on the second floor of this mall. Check that out as well if you need some home electronics. I got a sweet deal on a bedroom ceiling light with Bluetooth speakers on it. But enough of that, let's go inside and see what you've been missing, so to speak. And while we're walking, don't forget to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video or the small square on the bottom right of this video. I'd very much like that, domo. Now, in we go. Wow, such beautiful succulent oranges. Do you know how to say oranges in Japanese? It's Mikan. But these oranges are slightly different than traditional Western oranges because of their skin. It's super smooth and easy to pull off. So easy, in fact, that kids can pull them off without the help of adults. Also, it's a common snack in a Japanese household, and some like to get under a kotatsu or heated table with a blanket. Watch TV and pick at these things all day and eat them. Here are some red and green apples, just like Christmas, which is coming up. We call these Lingo in Japanese. Almost like Ringo Star from the Beatles, but with an L. There are no R's in Japanese. Moscato green grapes, commonly used in winemaking. These are called Kaki in Japanese but known elsewhere as persimmon. Here you have papaya, limes, and lemons, some fruit gelatins, seasoned chicken breasts right next to the salad starter packs, radish sprouts, and next to that, broccoli sprouts, celery, baby leaf for your DIY salads, this is the negi or the Japanese long onion, garlic up there called niniku in Japanese. Enoki mushrooms. Now, there was a story a while back in the Japanese news about Americans back stateside eating these things raw. Please, I implore you, do not do that. It proved fatal to them, and I surely don't want that to happen to you or for anyone for that. Boy, matter. don't you dare. Cook these, put them in soups, oden, nabe, or anything hot. Saute them even. This sign says osusume, or recommendation in Japanese. You will see this a lot in restaurants, especially, and well, supermarkets, because <laughs> they're here. Here are some shimeji mushrooms, spinach, now these are Nagaimo, they're not sweet yams, they're a little bit slimy when cooked. Kind of like the texture of natto, if you're familiar with that. 
but I heard it tastes good. Bean sprouts, good for ramen, soups, very, very cheap. I saw a documentary once about a Japanese guy just living off these alone while trying to make it through college. Crazy. Here's some bamboo. This is called konnyaku. Now this is almost zero calories so it's used a lot for supplementing meals for people on diets. You can also put it in oden. If you don't know what Odin is, no, I'm not talking about the Norse god Odin. <laughs> this is Odin, O-D-E-N. If you don't know what Odin is, again, go to a Lawson's or a Family Mart. It is sitting right in front of the register, especially during the cold seasons, in a large pot mixed with vegetables and a lot of other healthy things, including this. This white one is called Shirataki. Now this is almost like the konyaku you just saw, but it's white of course, and this can be made into noodles to eat and sometimes referred to as miracle noodles. They're both made from the same plant. Uh, these two are a story in itself. Google it sometime if you have time. Lots of tofu here. Here are some udon noodles. Now this is one of those, what are those moments for me because I didn't even know what these were. Turns out that these are actually marinated garlics. Now the one on the left is marinated in miso sauce. While the one on the right, the pink one, is marinated in a shiso sauce. Ah, this is called chikuwa. It's fish paste. One guy actually stopped and asked my wife if she knew where he could get the one with the cheese inside of it. <laughs> that was funny. We tried to help him, but we couldn't find any for him. Sorry, dude. Dried noodles. DIY noodles. Just fill with water to the crease and close for three minutes and bam, deliciousness. Butter chicken curry, kema curry, fried yakisoba, here's some pot pies, Oh, these are called nabe packages. Now, Japanese have nabe pots that they sit on a burner that goes on a table. And inside this pot is a collection of vegetables, meats, tofu, and anything really, shrimp. And these packages are the base for that. Now, I like the spicy base myself, but that's just me. Choose yours. This is tuna. Here is some pork belly. This fish is called Sanma. Kind of like the store we're in. Sanwa. <laughs> Close, but not quite. This is called Thai fish here. Some oysters. There's squid. This fish is Kinmedai. It's like he's looking right at you, right? And this is salmon. Here we have minced tuna. Now for the baking goods. And now if you are ever looking for yeast or baking soda, here they are. This is what they look like, and below is flour.
Bacon soda, they got bacon soda. These are miso soup cubes. And this is miso paste in all kinds of flavors. Fille, 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 where I am from. Milk. We call it gunyu here. These are snacks called dango. They're made out of mochi. I prefer to heat them up and get them extra sticky. I'm thirsty. What about you? This is Okinawan Awamori. It's way different from mainland Nihonshu. And here is Japanese Nihonshu or rice wine. I will just leave you with this. Some people call it sake, but sake is just a broad term for alcohol in Japan. What Westerners call sake is what you see in front of you, Nihonshu. It is made in a traditional fermented process, not distilled. Let's just leave it at that. Feel free to comment and tell me if I'm all kinds of wrong in the section below. These are called Losoku candles. Please, please, please do not put these on your birthday cake. These are, these are not birthday cake candles, y'all. These are for honoring the dead. I put this one up here because I actually saw a family. <laughs> try to buy these for their kids birthday cake and I had to stop them just to keep that bad karma away from them lastly this supermarket takes credit cards and debit cards of all kinds you shouldn't have a problem with yours here however they do have a point card system so if you get a Sanwa point card and you want to use their card to accumulate points you have to pay with cash you cannot use a credit card or a debit card and there you go we visited a Japanese supermarket pointed out a few things here and there visit one someday and see if you can find some of the items that we covered today now you know what they are mostly and again don't forget to like and subscribe I'd appreciate that and you know what see you on the next one DTI bacon soda they got bacon soda